Well, hello everybody, this is the Dark Hoon and we are here checking out the Radeon software Crimson Driver. Now, I have finally got mine installed again. Now, I've been running on the Crimson Driver ever since it came out and been updating it with it when it's been coming out. Now, I updated Windows 10 recently and just got it updated and it rolled back my driver. So, I decided, okay, simple, simple process, we'll just reinstall the driver and just update it again. And problem solved. But no, no, it fucking wasn't problem solved. It kept freezing and locking and freezing and locking. And all I got, I just got this bastard looking at me. And he wouldn't stop fucking looking at me. It kept freezing up at 2%, uh, 14%, and 16%. Now, if he just starts taunting the fuck out of you, and you need a bit of relief, because I tell you, fuck was he annoying. Yeah, you. I see you. Fucking looking at me again. Alright. Yeah. He was just freezing and locking, and there's oh, so much. It just, no matter what, it wasn't going to work. I tried the AMD clean utility. I tried to un uninstall it, but trying to install uninstall it without the cleaning utility was useless, because it needs the Crimson Driver to actually uninstall. So it was a problem. Now I could strangle somebody, and now I've also worked out who I can strangle for recommending this to me. So, whoa, watch out when I come see you, I'm gonna come strangle you. Now, who told me to download Bitdefender? Because Bitdefender is our friend here, and he will protect us and look after us and make sure everything runs well and smooth. It made sure the video driver software was not fucking installing. So no matter what. It just would not fucking install. So, the only problem, I, only solution I could come up with is to actually uninstall the anti antivirus software security system total, whatever it is. I un uninstalled it completely. When it was uninstalled completely, it didn't need the AMD utility cleanup. It didn't matter if it was fully taken off, wasn't taken off. It just installed properly with no freezing and locking. Yeah, I see ya. He's just taunting me. Now, AMD really need to look at doing something about this and fixing this up. Now, the only other time and problems I've had with the Crimson Driver is in video editing. Now, I have used PowerDirector. I've got a couple of editions of it. I've got 12, 13, and 10. And all those editions, doesn't matter how long you're using it for or how little, the program will completely just lock up. And not just lock up, it's sort of, also you'll see the video driver, it brings up the warning that the video driver has dropped out. Now, I don't know what the complete issue with that is. But I have emailed AMD about this a few times, and to see if you know, it can be fixed up, but with no response yet. So hopefully they do something about it soon, because it would be nice to be fixed up. I don't know if this is the same issue in other video editing software. So if so, could you please let me know? That would be nice to know in the comments below. Now, I'll also leave some links in the description for the AMD Clean Utility and the AMD Driver software, so you can actually just click straight onto it and it'll take you straight to the site to get the new update for your video card, everything like that. Now you'll have to, of course, select your driver and everything that you need to do in your operating system. Now I don't know if you have the same problem on any other operating system, if it's Windows 8 as well, 8. 8.1, 8 Windows 7, whatever, if this is the same problem with your antivirus and your crimson driver, please let me know, it would be nice to know. Now, it also happens more, not just with Bitdefender, I found out, it happens with other virus scanners too. So there's multiple virus scanners out there which cause that same issue and prevent you from reinstalling your video driver. So if you don't want to see him, just staring at you. Yeah, him. Staring at you and taunting your 2, 14, and 16%. If you can pass those percentages, you should be just fine. Now, you don't have to uninstall your antivirus software to start with. Try to install it, and if you have the problem, I suppose that's why you're looking for the video, because you're having the damn problem right now. So, if so, uninstall your virus protection and your firewall, everything, and there you go. Hopefully, it will ring install and if not please let me know in the comments below and I'll try to help you out the best I can alrighty everybody now we have covered through that beyond that the crimson driver software is pretty good and pretty damn reliable 
just those two little problems I've come across. Alrighty everybody, now if you like that video, hit that like button, or even drop a comment down below if it was helpful or not. Now, if not, I'll try to help you when I can. Now I'm going to say lock him up and smoke you later, I'm going to catch you guys and girls in the next video. Thank you for watching.